From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Make sure you keep your umbrella handy. Expect pop-up showers today. Greg D has your full forecast coming up. And here are your ABC Action News headlines. Police are warning homeowners that would-be thieves are targeting unlocked cars in South Tampa neighborhoods. Surveillance video caught a maroon Mazda backing up in one driveway. A man hopped out and opened the front passenger door. That car alarm spooked the would-be thief and he took off, but neighbors posted more videos appearing to catch the same car during the same back-end maneuver. Police reminding you to lock your car doors. Deputies say a 77-year-old man died yesterday morning while pulled over on the side of Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. The sheriff's office says William Costello was getting documents from his car after being involved in a crash with another driver when a third car struck him. Since the start of 2018, this stretch of Bruce B. Downs Boulevard between Fletcher and Fowler Avenue has seen at least 50 accidents. The Tampa Bay Lightning are in D.C. for game three of their series against the Washington Capitals. The Bolts are looking to rebound after losing the first two games to the Caps. The Bolts are asking for your support tonight. You're invited to join other fans and watch game three in Ybor City. Three huge screens will be set up around Central Ybor. The party starts at six. The puck drops at eight. Wildlife officials are trying to figure out who painted a baby gopher tortoise blue. A Pasco County woman says her dog found it. It took workers at Owl's Nest Sanctuary for Wildlife nine days to scrub the paint off the shell. We also work with the Gopher Tortoise Commission, so they want us to get enough off that it's not terribly noticeable, but not, you know, to where we're stressing the animal out. The sanctuary's director doesn't know who painted the tortoise. It is illegal to harm gopher tortoises. They're listed as a threatened species and they are protected under state law. The principal of a private Miami high school is apologizing for allowing a caged tiger at its senior prom. In a statement, he said the school learned from the experience. Wildlife experts say the tiger was in distress at the prom because it was pacing back and forth inside its cage. Can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Justin Timberlake brings his Man of the Woods tour to Amelie Arena tonight at 730. It's expected to be a fantastic show. If you still want to go, a limited number of resale tickets are still available through Ticketmaster's website. Now let's just hope the weather cooperates, Greg. I think there may be a couple of showers early if you're heading out there, maybe grabbing some dinner before the show. But as far as JT's concert, it looks fine. Temperatures uh, outside will be in the 70s as that concert comes to an end. All the rain should already be shifting to the east of Tampa. If you're heading out to Central Ebor for the watch party, of course, the bolts uh, puck drops at 8 o'clock tonight up in D.C. There will be some rain before the watch party, but once things get going, I think we'll see dry weather and temperature is very comfortable Dia, in the 70s. All right, thanks, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.